And you got people playing until their 40s. Yeah. Speaking of, <laughs> Tom Brady might be coming back. What? what? Yeah, he was talking to Vic Blends. Okay. Vic Blends, he's uh, white with a sweet fade. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And a lot of really cool tattoos. And Tom Brady just sprinkled in a little fodder for everybody to chat about. Wait a second, is the goat getting back into the barn? Ooh. Run it! Let's say one day sweet there's fade. a situation, right? Cool tattoos. It's a 40 yeah. Like I said. You know, head into the playoffs. <laughs> Offense is great. Patriots. Somebody. Could be, somebody. Whoa. Raiders Look, could be. You never know. God forbid somebody goes down. Okay. Would you pick up that phone? I'm not opposed to it. If they would, I don't know if they're gonna let me if I become an owner in the NFL team. But I don't know if. Uh, I don't know. I'm always gonna be in good shape. Always be able to throw the ball. So to come in for a little bit, like MJ coming back. Um, I don't know if they let me, but I wouldn't be opposed to it. Wait. wait. Hmm. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait a Tommy. second. Tommy. Wait a second. So let's say something unfortunate, which we don't want. And ladies and gentlemen, this man will be on our show tomorrow. Brock Purdy. Wow. That's okay. Cool. Brock? Yeah, Brock's on the show tomorrow. Okay. Holy okay. shit. Hey. That is breaking. Charles Barkley's on the show tomorrow. What? Whoa. Damn. Tomorrow, tomorrow, much better show than today. <laughs> You got CC Sabathia on the I was oh say my today, God. Not bad. And Jet Passer yeah. won that piece of metal. Yeah, we just had Max Holloway. Yeah. Baseball. Oh, the boy's swinging a hot bat. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. I think so. I think we, I was about to make another announcement. But I was going to say, yeah, 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 I, you're watching a full tennis mm-hmm, thing mm-hmm. happening in my head. Now's not the time. Anyways, let's say something happens to Brock Purdy. Okay. Which I don't love. Okay, yeah. I don't love that at all. Yeah, hopefully. But that team's going to be good. That team's always going to be good. Yep. That team's always going to be in the hunt. Something happens to him late in the year. That's his hometown team. There's pictures of him yeah. with San Francisco 49ers gear. You're telling me there's a chance Tom Brady would at least entertain a phone call from them saying, hey, you want to come back if you mm-hmm. need it, if you're in a good run? And then he said the Raiders maybe. You know, obviously the Raiders are a team that he's potentially going to yeah. own. But for some reason, the other owners are like, nah, we're not going to vote on that, pal. <laughs> Where a player? I don't think so. Push that. I don't think, Al Davis is a player. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. We, at what rate? No way. Not a chance. You're going to ruin the, no. the valuation of the entire league. Not we chance. can't be doing that. No way. But then he said the Patriots as well. Ooh. Oh. And I heard you perk up pretty mightily right there. Now, the way Vic blends, sick fade, great tats. Yep. Mm-hmm. Exactly how I remember the video from four hours ago, mm-hmm. whenever I watched it. He, uh, he says uh, all these names if they were in it still. Yeah. So that would mean, hey, Tom Brady has hopes that. Coach Mayo is going to be able to have yeah, the team yeah. in it towards the end of this entire thing. And it feels like he respects and likes everybody that was back there, if you heard the way he talks. Yep. And I saw you go 6 to midnight right there. <laughs> this would mean that a quarterback that was playing very well to get them in contention would have to get hurt, yep. mm-hmm. and then he would come back. But all of a sudden, we're back on old Tommy, Tom Brady, maybe the Patriots quarterback. And what are your thoughts on him maybe playing for another team outside of New England yet again here? I mean, him playing for another team I think is more realistic. I was more so thinking like Brady coming in for the Patriots week 18 to – win the week 18 game to push the Patriots to four and 13 again. But Whoa. again, th- this is a situation where it would be nice. The idea of Tom coming back to see him in a Patriots uniform again and get that moment of like, okay, this is actually the last time I'll see him in a Pats uniform. Cause a lot of new England fans didn't get that. But I mean, the idea of him coming back, you can never rule that out. I mean, this wouldn't be the first time the Niners called him. They called him what last off season yeah, going into it. Like the, the idea that they wouldn't call him going into a playoff run. I mean, they would, definitely do that and then you even just think even broader like if just players that he hadn't played with like imagine if the Dolphins which he was connected to where they have a Tyreek Hill yeah. and Jalen Waddle and you know something happens with Tua and he goes down and they need to do something like that and, and even a team like the Cowboys where you know Dak Prescott goes through something and it's Jerry Jones and maybe Tom thinks to himself hey if I if I go play for Jerry, maybe Jerry will spread the word and let everyone know, like, hey, Tom's a good man. He can be an owner in this league because that's clearly what he's still looking for. But, no, he said it in there, and I, and I think it goes for a lot of quarterbacks. Like, Tom is going to be able to throw the football very well till he's 50. And I mean very well as in probably an NFL, hopefully. I mean, who, who knows? It would be fun to play We know another game. human that has told us I'll always be able to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Always. Never what are we even talking us. about? I assume most of those guys think that. And then you see mm-hmm. Steve Young whenever he was on Monday Night Countdown. Mm-hmm. He was oh, on yeah. that. You know, he yep. was still. Still spinning. Then he was doing full jog. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. We're talking. <laughs> we're talking high heels up there while he was. <laughs> touching I mean, he cheeks. looked good. Oh, yes. He was touching cheeks. Yeah, he was. Running I mean, a VC fight. I mean, he was. Mm-hmm. He st- yeah, I guess some of those guys. I mean, be- he's not as old as these other guys, but uh, Darren Orlowski, the Pro Bowl. 
Yeah. Jack's still, still slinging around. Bink, 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 good point. RG3. Who's that? Who's RG3. Car, car's older brother. Car, David. Dave. Dave. Yeah. David, he he did that yeah. target practice yep. thing. Oh, yeah. With, I forget who it was, and it was like, boom. Dominated. Boom. <laughs> boom. Yeah. Boom. And then the miles per hour in which he was throwing was like faster. Everybody, it's like, he... You guys get better after you? Why isn't this guy still playing? How does this whole thing work? It might be modern science, which Tom Brady is TB12. It's yeah. not modern science. It's old science. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the oldest right. science it's of all time and pliability. Uh, Tom Brady might be coming back. He might not be the only one. Ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Luck threw a football this weekend Whoa. with money go. on the line at the Chuck Strong Gala, where Chuck Pagano obviously plays host to a fundraiser here in Indianapolis every year. Jim Irsay said, if you two can knock out every picture of Chuck Pagano in one minute, I'll donate a million dollars. Andrew Luck get said, with 10 get seconds away. left, get the hell out of the way, Chuck. I ain't got time. Chuck oh. hits a high one. Andrew hits the corner. Oh, misses. Only got seven seconds. Oh, uh -oh, no. No. Boom. 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 And... Boom. Gamer. Gamer. Made it. Obviously, as time expired, it was great to see Andrew Luck do that. That was what Andrew did, by the way. They oh, called yeah. Jim Harbaugh the comeback kid and everything like that. And obviously, Frank Reich is known for a couple of the biggest comebacks in history. If you look at Andrew Luck's career, it did not matter how much we were down. It was not a matter of if we were coming back. It was just a when we were coming back. He might have the greatest second-half stats out of any quarterback I've ever seen. Yeah. And it starts out as like, a, oh, the other team must have just got comfortable or something like that. And then it doesn't matter because him and T.Y. are just about to go <laughs> bananas on mm -hmm. you. It's that gamer mentality. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's the thing that I think, you know, you don't hear about a lot with Andrew because he was the perfect prospect this guy. Mm -hmm. He's tall, he's fast, he's incredibly smart. Mechanical engineer, I think he could go build a bridge right now if he had to. Yeah. Like actually could piece mm -hmm. together a what? building or a bridge if he had to. Nobody ever talks about his competitive drive. Yeah. Because he retired young. Nobody talk, Nobody thinks like his competitive drive is high, but you saw it there whenever he raised a million bucks for the city of Indianapolis and the, the people here, which we're very thankful for, but in games, too. Oh, man. It was like, put the team on my back, though, and I'm going to go for it. It was great to see him again. Yeah, even early, early in his career. I remember that Detroit uh, game, mm -hmm. the walk-off touchdown, the oh, yeah. big, huge comeback Chiefs. against the Chiefs in the yes. second half of the playoffs. Luck's always dialed in when it's time to be clutch. Always. We appreciate him. Thanks for coming back to town. We miss you, pal.